Hi. How are you? I thought we would make an apple pie today. So I've got some butter. And uh, I already started. I started without you because, you know, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for you to show up so we could get this apple pie party started. But we are going, hey, Richard. We are going to put, oh, I'll turn this so you can see. We're gonna put uh, this butter into this uh, food processor. I did make a crust earlier this week. You weren't looking. And I used this uh, method, which was this uh, food processor. So we're gonna try it again. Oh, Noel's back. He's back. He's like, oh, Eileen's going live. He must have got a notice on his phone. Hey, Eileen's going to go live. I got to watch. But I do have this cool tool. This is like, okay, there's several ways to cut. There's several ways to make a pie crust, my friends. Hi, Ann Becker. Karen Tin Kinzer, home ec teacher, Shine Eagle Butte uh, Junior High taught me to make it with these two knives. The butter knife uh, method to cut butter into flour. That's one way. Then I got fancy and I'm like, woo! I got myself a, what is this called? Pie, pastry, pastry blender, maybe pastry cutter or something. Anyway, you stick that in there and you go like that. But when you do that, you get a lot of flour on your shirt. That's one way. So then we've leveled up here, my friends. Now we have the food processor that we bought at Walgreens. Okay, it's gonna, gonna be noisy for a second. Uh, can I do it right? Oh, and I'm using self-rising flour. Hmm, this could be a dangerous. I don't know, it's what I had. Hey, Joellen. So we are cutting butter. Not cut, cut. We're gonna make a pie crust, my friends. Pie crust. I don't know, let's try it one more time. Okay, now uh, we're gonna look at the recipe. Once, oh, one and one cup and a fourth. Oh, we're out. Of, we need more butter. I only put a cup of butter in there. Oh, had the butter right here. <laughs> here it is. So a fourth, one and a fourth cup of butter. Fourth cup. That's half of this stick here. So yeah, I'm making a pie. I thought maybe I'd get all fancy and put the little stripes on it or strips at the top. But I'm like, you know what? You miss out on that yummy crust. So why would I want to do that? More butter. Less butter will be healthier for your heart. Yeah, you're talking to the woman who in less than three hours ate like 2,000 calories. So I just am not eating after those three hours. So my theory is... I can just have a piece of pie tomorrow to eat all day. Uh, one cup and a fourth of butter. That's, that's what I'm using, my friend. I don't know. We'll give it one more pulse. And this, I've never done. Can you take this part out? And now I'm supposed to put this egg in here and then some vinegar and some water. I mean, when I made pie crust before, I just used butter and flour and salt and water, that was it. But I'm reading a recipe and it's got me some egg, it's asking for egg. So I'm just gonna try it. It wants egg and vinegar. So, okay, so it needs an egg, so here I go. Putting the egg in to here. Oh, should I put this part back in? Okay. Oh, 
Okay, now how much vinegar? Two, two teaspoons of vinegar. What do I do with the vinegar? I gotta find the vinegar. Okay, we're just gonna use bite, bite, well, bite, bite. We're gonna use bite vinegar. Bite. This is bite vinegar. <laughs> or apple cider vinegar. One, two. And now uh, some cold water. <laughs> Andrew's like, this is not how I make it. Mm. Now it needs water, mm, cold water. I was gonna put some ice cubes in that, but we'll just take a little bit of water from the refrigerator and we'll drizzle some in there. See how it turns out. Okay, I'm, I don't know how much water to put in there. Yikes. I think that might be enough water. Hey! Okay. Just for fun, I'm going to pulse it a couple more times and put just a titch bit more water. Okay, that's enough. Okay, we have a crust that looks like this. And now we're gonna move over to uh, the counter here to see the next stage. So uh, I've got myself some crust here and some flour. So we're gonna put some flour out. Ah! <laughs> Hang on, people, put your seat back on. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that business. Okay, flour is out. Now we're gonna dump this out. And hopefully make two lumps of flour crust. I don't know, people. Ain't got enough moisture in here. What's my method? I must have a method. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tin foil. I'm going to put it around this dough. <laughs> I'm going to form it into a ball inside the tin foil. Wrap it in a little pocket. Careful, I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator. How about the freezer? We'll put it in the freezer. That doesn't sound good. Okay. Are you guys okay? I didn't mean to drop. I'm sorry I dropped you. Okay. So that's going to chill in the refrigerator for just a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to cut up some more apples. I saved this apple for you because I thought you might want to watch. This is the coolest invention Can you see this? You guys catching this? All right. What? Awesome, huh? Cord that baby. Took all the strings off. Now, 
we have um a cord apple pink ladies we're using here today we put it in this bowl full of yumminess um which currently includes uh some cinnamon 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 and some nutmeg and some brown sugars and a little salt I don't know what else is in here. Oops, I almost had the batter. Um, yeah, so there's my pie filling yumminess. I can just put that in a bowl and eat it. Doesn't really, that'd be healthier, huh, Ashley? So that's the apple cry pie filling. Here's the crust. Let's see if it tastes any good. Um, it's all right. Yeah, eat pie filling. <laughs> all right, I'm washing my hands. <laughs> I realize the pie filling has not filled completely. I recognize that. It's only been about four seconds in the freezer. But now I'm going to take this crust here. I got me one of these cool um, cutting things. I saw them have it on TV, not gonna lie. And now I'm just gonna cut that baby in half and we're gonna call this the bottom crust business. I have a little bit of moisture on my hands. We don't wanna, I just wanna try to bring it together. Can you see this? I can't tell. I'm assuming yes. Okay. Oh, where the rolling pin go? <clears throat> so uh, I learned to make pies in home ec um, with Karen Kinzer at Shine Eagle Butte Junior High, who taught you guys how to make a pie. This butter is in here. pies if I do say so myself for a while pie crust and then uh, I had a boyfriend at one time and he was like oh you make the best pies just to brag all about my pie making skills anyway and he broke my heart the son of a couldn't make any good pies after that but I'm back baby broken hearts I'll tell you that much okay this pie crust I can tell right now is gonna stick to my countertop and I'm not gonna like it it's not gonna be pretty in a few minutes I'm gonna try to roll this son of a bitch up oh excuse my language I'm gonna try to roll this up and put it in that pie crust and it's gonna fall apart I know that much about pie crust but nothing ventured nothing gained so, I'm just going to do our best. All right. Now we got your pie crust here. So cute. It should be bigger than your pie pan. Just a little bit bigger on this side. Okay, here we go. This is where the hell part comes. Okay. I didn't give myself enough room. <laughs> okay, how many minutes is this? I, is it way too long? This, this party is too long. People don't want to sit and watch. You're never going to get this 20 minutes of your life back. I'm just saying. But you're the one tuning in. Nothing else to do on a... Oh, dang it. Don't watch, you guys. Gee. It's coming up. It's not coming up right. Okay. Pie crust here. Not the crust, but the pan. Roll it on its 
so. And then you go like this. Wah! <laughs> okay. And then you just little bit lift it up, little bit drop it in. You know, I think it's going to be edible. I mean, I'm not, it was not real pretty. I don't think I, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't win any 4-H awards or nothing. But that, that is a pie crust bottom. Okay. Now, if anybody's watching that wants to really seriously help me, I'm pretty sure I don't bake this now. Anybody want to help me? Help me? Anybody? I don't think I bake it now. I think I put this in here, put the goody stuff in, then I roll out the other one and I put it over the top and I put some butter on top and then let's that. That's what I'm going to do. I remember. Okay. I don't need you. <laughs> okay. Back to this other pie crust. You know, I don't know if I can do this better. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm going to put way more flour down. Let's see what happens. Do not overwork your dough. I know that much. It makes it tough and chewy and go not fun. So I'm making an apple pie because my cousin, Bill, said, Hey, cousin, why don't you make an apple pie sometime if you're baking one of these days? So here I am making an apple pie. On a Sunday night. Let's try this. A little more flour. Hi, Rihanna. Hello, Daryl. Okay. So, we're making pies here. On my pretend cooking show. <laughs> it's not a real cooking show. That's not the real thing. Okay, we're gonna turn this over. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're about to finish making this pie. I have the oven heating over there on the other side of the kitchen. This one might roll up. A little easier. I can't guarantee that. It might be ugly just like the last one. But put this over here. Woo! That's plenty big. Yay. Okay. Oh, wait. Back here. Now we gotta put this yumminess. This is the yumminess. My favorite cooking show. Okay, this is the yumminess. It's going in. Okay, there you go. That is some apples. Apples in the pie. Now we need more butter. I've got some butter here from the Lando Lakes with uh, still has an Indian woman on it. And that was really a big controversy. You know, so much going on in the world and all these people were so much to talk about, make the world a better place, and everyone had to all get mad because Lando Lakes decided to wisen up and take the Indian maiden off the butter box. I'm not going to dissect the butter box uh, controversy here at this apple pie making, for I do not like to put any kind of controversial energy into my food. We hope everyone enjoys their butter, no matter how it's packaged. Okay, that's probably enough butter. Okay, let's put some more cinnamon just for fun. Okay, let's do this. Shit. Okay. Okay, we gotta pick this up again. Hey Maggie, how are you? 
I wish this was more of a talk back type of a deal, you know? Because I miss you. I miss my peeps. We're kind of all missing our peeps though, aren't we? Hold up with some of our people that we're kind of sick of. I'm not really sick of them. It's just, you know, variety. Okay, now I'm going to pick up this crust very carefully. Very carefully. Very carefully. Okay. And then we'll bring the pie over here. Okay. And then we lift up the pie crust. And we just lay it across there like that. There's enough pie crust here for little mini pies if I got creative. Okay. Now here's the fun part. I don't like to tell people that this is the fun part because then everybody be doing it. But you gotta take off some of this extra part of the pie. I just, this is too long of a this is too long of a video. I'm so sorry. You know, someone's I should shut off and, and, and come back on. But um yeah, I'm making pie. Um, and then you fold it under here like this, little bits like that, see? It's like a little tuck. It's like tucking in your bed, the sheets at the bottom or something. And then just make a little lip like that, and then you're going to pinch it like this, and then you're going to cut it. you got to put love in your food. No controversial butter conversation. That is going to be some seriously thick edges. And um, it's been raining here on the prairie for a few days. I didn't go outside at all today. Not once. Well, wait a minute. One time I stepped out on the deck. But that was it. I didn't go nowhere. I didn't do nothing. I watched some TV. I did some laundry, and I'm baking a pie. Hey, Conrad, how are you? Connie? How's things in the Turtle Mountains? Oh, Morgan's watching. Um, hi, Morgan. Morgan's my niece. She's going to be a nurse or a nurse practitioner or something awesome like that. Making pies. See? Your cooking show is the best. I don't know if it's the best. I'm just like rambling on. I'm crazy res woman. Willing to put herself out there in Facebook land. But you know, if you're not willing to, uh, sometimes you got to be take a risk every once in a while. <clears throat> it's a pie! going to get a little, um, I decided not to take you all into my, uh, the backyard of my kitchen here. A little too much running around and too much critique of my kitchen shelves. No, I'm just kidding. I can take it. But Mike, uh, Lavender said, Lav Lav Lavender said my, uh, spice cupboard was pretty organized. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's what happens in quarantine. Feel the need to control. Feel like you gotta do something. Next thing you know, you're alphabetizing your spices. Okay, so now we are uh, preparing a little egg wash here for the top of the pie. Okay, now. Should I put the little decorations on first? No, that's cut. We got this cool little brush. And then we just go like this. Oh, another thing that's really important about making a pie is that you try to pay attention so that your uh, crust edges don't overburn or burn or something. So you probably won't see this, but I'm just gonna let you know that I'm gonna put together some kind of intricate uh, the aluminum foil system that's going to cover the edges of the pie, but not the middle. Um, they make special little tools for that. Theoretically, I own such things, but that would mean I'd have to 
Oh, look at all this pie crust. Oh, look at what you could make with that. Wait, I should make a little pie, don't you think? I should make a little pie with this. Okay, we're gonna make a little pie uh, with this little extra crust. That's pretty good. Okay, I know I said the fun part was the part where I cut that off. That's not, and, and I like the part where you pinch. I like that part, but I really like this part. Like, this part is like, it's so fun. You get to put a decoration. So I am gonna put a little cuts on here and I'm gonna make it the shape of a heart. <laughs> a couple little pokes in it. You can't really see, but it's got a little heart on it. Isn't that cool? Anyway, <laughs> that desperate for self-expression. <laughs> Creative expression. Okay, this pie is gonna go in the oven. I don't know for how long because I'll have to read a recipe, but I'm guessing 50 minutes, 45. Um, yeah, and when it uh, comes out, I'll make a little video and uh, go live with it. It'll be midnight probably. <laughs> I have no ice cream, so I won't be eating any of it. But I was so happy to make this pie with you guys. So uh, let's uh, put it in the oven. I'll have you watch that. Let's see, how do I do this? Turn it break. I tell you what. <laughs> okay. Hang on, people. This is not for the faint of heart. Okay. Hi, Carly. We're making pies. I just said that on the computer. It's probably bad. This pie is going to the apple pie, going into the oven. Let's look. Ooh, guess what? I do have those pie crusts in there. Nothing to see here. Nothing, nothing at all. smaller than the pie itself so I don't know if it'll really work but we'll try it let's see how what's the worst that can happen it'll burn and it'll be the burnt parts are still good anyway um I think um I think that uh, we should all do some cooking together sometime Want to hear your best recipes? If you have any recommendations, I've had a uh, couple of um, suggestions for the cooking show. I did hear somebody wanted me to make stuffed pork chops, uh, stuffed peppers. Um, but if you have any other suggestions, I'll take them. And yeah, I mean, cooking, we all cook. I'm just a crazy cook. Anyway. I hope you're all well. I hope you're enjoying your evening. This is a half hour cooking show on Facebook Live. Probably 27 minutes too long. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. I enjoy having your company for even a little while. Have a great evening. See you. Oh, I'll show you a picture of the pie later. Oh, hi. Uh, I thought I'd bring you in and we'd take the pie out of the oven. So, uh, those of you that tuned in earlier, I made an apple pie tonight. Yay! And uh, from scratch, like the whole thing. Um, so, uh, I got it in the oven. Uh, I'm going to take it out. And I had this uh, cool apple pie crust, like, not burner thing. On it and uh, yeah it worked but it was too big and then it kind of sunk into the pie and so then it stuck and then um, well you know let's show you so then parts of the pie no the pie 
So then uh, some of the pie uh, edges fell off onto the bottom. <laughs> and then, uh, so I thought, oh, that's no problem, no problem, no problem. So I got the pie uh, not burner offer thing off. And then uh, I went to check the pie and the black smoke starts blowing out of the, um, <laughs> the little pie crusties at the bottom that had fallen decided to burn into a little crisp. So we had to get out the trusty grill spatula and the grill uh, fork and we did a little uh, pitchfork and a broom system here. Anyway, no fire alarms went off um, in the making of this pie uh, so far. So I'm gonna make a pie, I'm gonna take this pie out of the oven here. Apple pie. Very carefully take the pie out of the oven. Mmm. Looks good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Just a little pie juice all over the place, but uh yeah, so we made a pie. It turned out pretty good, as I can tell. Mm, it's pretty good. I'm going to uh, make some whipped cream. I did say earlier that I did not have any ice cream to uh, eat this pie properly. But then I said, wait a minute, you happen to have some whipping cream in the refrigerator. So we're gonna let this cool just a little bit. I'm gonna whip up some whipped cream. And then we're gonna slice this pie and have us some 11 p.m. apple pie as a taste test. Cause you know, you really have to taste it. I can't just like let it sit here, not eat it. So that's the plan. We're gonna have a little apple pie tasting later. Um, I wish you were here. Hope you're doing well. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good pie. Maybe use a little sugar. Wait, it's apple pie. Crust, it doesn't have sugar. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm glad to have you join me. I told people I would show you what the pie looks like. This is what the pie looks like. And um, hopefully um, it tastes good too. So, there you go pie success. Hope you have a great night. Sweet dreams. Hi friends and relatives. I thought you might want to see 